Hey everybody and welcome back to Sweatpants BI. It's me, Sean here, and I'm excited to be doing another BI book club recommendation this week. And this time I'm recommending Better Data Visualizations, A Guide for Scholars, Researchers, and Wonks by Jonathan Schwabish. And I do hope that I am pronouncing Mr. Schwabish's name. I realized it could be Squabish. Uh, maybe it's, uh, you know, e even pronounced in a completely different way, but I will be saying Mr. Schwabish. Uh, throughout this uh, book review, I do hope that he will forgive me because I highly, highly recommend the book. If you've never heard of Better Data Visualizations, it is a uh, phenomenal recommendation that I can make to anyone who works in business intelligence with tools like Power BI or Tableau or, or Excel, you know, honestly, any uh, tool that allows people to work with data visualizations on a regular basis. This book covers so much uh, what I would consider to be foundational skills and all kinds of different chart types that are just going to make you a more well-rounded subject matter expert in all things uh, data visualization and uh, just make you a more well-rounded business intelligence person in general. So if you're excited about things like bar charts, line charts, and you want to know what other types of really cool data visuals are out there, or if you're just trying to maximize uh, your thought processes around designing the most efficient uh, and easy to read data visuals, uh, Mr. Schwabish has you covered in this book. I would say that especially uh, given my last or previous book recommendation of Storytelling with Data by Cole Nussbaumer Knopflick, this book is a wonderful companion piece because it really sort of uh, doubles down on some of the concepts that uh, Knopflick talks about in her fantastic book, while also uh, sort of getting really into the weeds and talking in greater detail about some of the different data, visualiz data visualization types and charts that are out there that, uh, that Knopflick's book uh, didn't go into great detail on. You know, they kind of have two subtly different focuses. You know, uh, the Knopflick book goes into a whole lot more detail on sort of telling uh, engaging stories with data, whereas this book is really focused on educating you around all of the many different types of data visualizations that are out there. Uh, right out of the gate, I just want to read one of the great quotes that Schwabish uh, gives us from this book, and here I'm quoting him. He says, I've seen hundreds of different kinds of data visualization challenges. The skills to meet them, unfortunately, are not yet regularly taught in schools or professional development programs, but these skills can be learned. And I know that that quote's kind of, you know, uh, a throwaway line from the introduction, uh, at least in the context of the book, but it really spoke to me. And I feel like that quote is probably going to speak to you and a lot of people that would read this or, or, or watch this video. Because I know that, you know, um, I've now been working in data visualization and business intelligence for almost 10 years, and almost no one has ever given me in-depth, candid, tactical uh, insights into my data visualization. You know, I, I've, I've kind of developed my technique and the things that I think work over time by getting, you know, feedback, uh, occasional feedback from my boss and from my stakeholders, you know, uh, watching and sort of assessing what the people that I design BI tools are responding to, what they like, what they don't like. Uh, I'm taking careful note of sort of the uh, data visuals that, that uh, my stakeholders are interpreting correctly or interpreting the way that I had intended them to. And then I'm also picking up on the data visuals that they don't understand or that they take a long time to process. And I've sort of been internalizing uh, that feedback and those mental notes and refining my style over time, as all professionals should do. We all start out fairly crummy at what we do, and we only get better over time with tons and tons of practice and observation and feedback. Uh, but this uh, book does a fantastic job of sort of, you know, laying out in a pretty formal uh, sense the sort of uh, formative education and teaching that a lot of us uh, who work in business intelligence and data, visual data visualization never got. Because I know that when I was in uh, college, uh, I never had a, a quote unquote data visualization course. I didn't even hear the concept business intelligence for the very first time until after I got my MBA and started working for my first employer that had an analytics and business intelligence team. And they had this, you know, charming tool called Power BI. And I asked, well, what does the BI stand for? And the rest is history. From there, I learned business intelligence. But, you know, like a lot of people, 
I kind of made it up as I went along. And I, that's why I definitely feel a sense of, um, I would say, a kindred spirit uh, in this book that sort of lays out the truth is that a lot of us don't have that formal education and we only get it by reading the, the, the handful of fantastic books that are out there that have uh, data visualization insights that are A, interesting to read uh, and, and relatively easy to read, but also are immediately applicable to someone who works uh, in business intelligence with a tool like Power BI on a regular basis. So another thing that I really appreciate about uh, Schwabish's book is that he comes out swinging with the goods. Like he doesn't bury the lead or he doesn't make some of, I would say, uh, the juicier content for people who are learning data visualization and business intelligence harder to get to. You know, unlike a lot of other books that sort of lay a lot of uh, foundation and history on the technical topic of data visualization before getting into some of the more useful stuff, I love that uh, he starts right out with some of the core things that you need to understand about data visualization and uh, design before getting into the technicalities of which charts you should use in different situations. Visual processing and guidelines for designing better data, visual data visuals are, are the first chapters. And so you get design concepts like uh, gestalt principles on only page 22. So relatively early in the book, you get exposed to gestalt principles, which are something that I talk about in all of my Udemy classes and something I talk a little bit about here on the channel. And this is great for sort of laying the foundation for someone who's trying to learn how to present information and communicate complex data as effectively as possible. If you compare that book to my other favorite book, Storytelling with Data by Cole Nussbaum Arnoflik, uh, she doesn't get around to talking about Gestalt principles until page 74. And again, you know, her, her focus in her book is a little bit different from what uh, Mr. Schwabish is trying to accomplish in better, be, better data visualizations. But I still, as someone who's uh, been you know, uh, reading about these concepts and talking about this stuff for a long time, I appreciate that we're getting a book that uh, puts more of the design stuff up front as opposed to talking about design after covering a lot of the data visuals. Uh, so, you know, in, in many ways, the Schwabish book and the Nussbaumer book kind of flipped the script. You know, in the Nussbaumer book, you get the, data, the core data visuals and then the design topics. And in the Schwabish book, uh, it's a nice sandwich of design and psychology, then all of the data visuals that you could imagine, and then more design and sort of psychology topics at the end. So you get this nice sandwich that just makes you a better, uh, I feel like data visualization principal or, or um, uh, professional in general. And boy, are there a lot of charts in this book. Uh, I can all but guarantee that in reading this book, there will be at least one chart that you have never heard of, uh, regardless of how many years uh, of experience you have in data visualization. Uh, for me, there were several, and uh, Mari Mecco chart, I'm looking at you, even though I'm not even 100% sure that I'm pronouncing that correctly. But what I really like about this book and the way that Schwabish sort of introduces you to all of these different chart types is that he doesn't like list all of them like someone trying to remember all the capitals of the US states. Like it's not like, you know, we're just running down this long list of all these data visuals and there's no real rhyme or reason to how they're organized. And in the book, it doesn't get too repetitive because instead of uh, organizing uh, the, the charts in kind of a random way, he does a good job of sort of bucketing all, uh, a whole bunch of different charts by the sort of problem or scenario that you would be trying to solve or address. So in other words, you know, you're going to run into things like bullet charts and bar charts and waterfall charts in a, in a chapter that is dedicated almost entirely to understanding categorical data. And you'll find line charts, slope charts, area charts, spark lines, things like that in a chapter that is dedicated entirely to sort of making sense of time series data. And they, there are other chapters that are focused on helping you understand the distribution of different data elements. There's, of course, a chapter on geospatial data. Uh, and of course, this is where you're going to find uh, Charles Joseph Menard's Map of Napoleon's uh, March into Russia. It says that it's here on page 247, so I should be able to find it pretty easily. Yep, there it is. Uh, this chart, if you've never heard of it, give it a Google. It's an extremely interesting chart, but I, I also 
always look for this chart in any book that I've uh, that I read on data visualization. I feel like this is kind of the stamp of approval chart. Uh, I feel like all books are all books on data visualization are required to have this chart right right here from now until the heat death of the universe. It has to be in every data visualization book. And I'm kind of making fun of the chart. I don't I don't want to seem like I'm downplaying it. That Menard visual in particular uh, for me uh, was sort of the light bulb that went off that helped me understand. Uh, you know, just how much more data visualization can be than just bar charts and how data visualization can help instill emotion in someone. It can make them feel something about data that I know you don't feel when you're just looking at data in the form of a big table or a matrix. So I just, I'm joking about the Menard visual, but it is funny. Every time I open a, a data visualization book, I look for that specific one so that I know Mwah, this is a book on data viz. So, you know, the vast majority of Schwabish's book is focused on making you a more well-rounded student of data visualization. And as I said earlier, you know, this kind of seems the, another to kind of bring it back to the quote that I gave you at the very beginning here. Uh, I appreciate the fact that this book kind of seems like Schwabish attempting to give us all, uh, you know, sort of the uh, curriculum and coursework in data visualization that he admits that he never had and that I know that most of us never had. That's why I appreciate this book so much, uh, even though, uh, you know, a lot of it uh, were things that I felt like internally I already knew the things that I quote unquote know about business intelligence and data visualization today are sort of conclusions that I've come to on my own uh, through experience and by talking to and learning from other people who have worked in data visualization, many of them longer than I have, uh, but a, a fair number of people who have not been working in it as long as I have. So a lot of the, the, the opinions or things that I think I know about data viz and BI are things that I've learned by collaborating with other people, uh, not because I had any sort of formal education in it uh, in college. Uh, not that you care. My formal education, most of it was in international relations, uh, not data visualization, more poli sci and that kind of stuff. So I love the fact that you know a lot of the biases I have and a lot of the things that I think I know uh, were either uh, corroborated by this book or refined by you know by reading through his uh, you know wonderful and I would say very succinctly and to the point uh, written book on better data visualizations. That's why again the, the book has the perfect title. This book is all about better data visualizations, and that's exactly what you get. So as always, my you know recommendation of better data visualizations by Jonathan Schwabish. My review, if I had to give one, five stars out of five. I don't believe in giving anything but five star reviews on my channel. Who has time for three star and four star books? If I'm recommending the book on Sweatpants BI, it's because I would give it five out of five stars. Perfect score. Not all books are created equal. Um, you know, I would say that this book is slightly more difficult to read than the Storytelling with Data book by Cole Newsbomber Knopflick. But again, both books have different focuses. It's unfair to really compare them against each other. Uh, at the end of the day, I'm, I just want to tell you about books that I think have a lot of great content for someone who is serious about data visualization. Uh, in particular, books that I think would benefit someone who is serious about data visualization within the context of Power BI. And here, I think that the Schwabish book is absolutely fantastic. I highly recommend that you go out there, look it up, you know, grab it at Amazon or grab it through whatever, uh, you know, uh, retailer of books you find most comfortable with and uh, and give it a read. It, it, at any rate, even if some of the uh, content around uh, visual perception and gestalt principles and design techniques don't work for you, it's still a fantastic recommenda uh, recommendation for its reference section on all the different chart types that are out there and uh, when are great situations to use them. I find myself flipping through this book when I'm bored just to sort of get that spark of inspiration and look through some of the fantastic data visuals that are in here, because a lot of the situations that are outlined in this book are things that I run into every single day uh, with my Power BI customers. And, uh, you know, when I'm when I'm just uh, working through different uh, data situations in my day job. So highly recommend the book. Go and check it out if you enjoy these book uh, reviews or if you have another uh, book recommendation on a similar topic. I would love to know what it is if you sound off in the comments. If you uh, want to see more of these or if you just enjoy other content on the channel, as always, feel free to like or subscribe or follow Sweatpants BI so that I can uh, keep more of this type of content coming. I've got several more books uh, on the shelf behind me that are kind of next in line to uh, bring for my BI book club. In the meantime, I'll see you next time on Sweatpants BI. Thank you so much, everybody.